Good everybody, Jason Souls with the Glazer Center here. I'm going to show you our Extreme Cut Optimizer and how we can grab a parts list from Athena um, and bring it directly in. So basically, we just um, have our elevations with all of our parts attached already. Um, we type the command ath underscore bar underscore job underscore export. And keep in mind. Uh, this export command is beta. This is why we have to type it. We don't have a button for it yet. Um, so you hit enter at that point. And we'll go ahead and bring in all the bars in the complete drawing at first. You can do this um, by selecting a region or by the whole drawing. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the whole drawing. I'm going to grab everything here that's, uh, that's aluminum. We'll just ignore the uh, gaskets and isolators at this point. Um, We'll go ahead and name this test. Uh, we'll save it to the desktop for now. There we go. We'll just call this the school. Select XML. Oops, you have to retype that after you do that. And just hit OK. What it's going to do now is going to calculate all of the uh, all the bars that are in the whole drawing and then it's going to spit out an XML file which we can then import into our Extreme Cut Optimizer. 201 components written. Go to our Extreme Cut Optimizer. Import Athena Cut List and then grab the test.xml that we created. Hit open and it brings in every bar that's associated with those two elevations. In addition, it brings in each individual component on curtain wall one and two in their quantities. We set up our optimization. Now, <clears throat> in this setup, we can do either a default, we can do it for best yield order fit, long, short, short to long. Uh, short to long is very significant in that most uh, shops will stack bars so that's the type of optimization we're going to do um, it'll stack bars of the same you know you might cut five cover caps instead of one so this allows you to do that I already have one set up here so I'm just going to pick short to long and uh, we'll just cancel out of here because it's already in here short to long is here you can see here that I have minimum drop six inches minimum length one inch max length 360 blade thickness start waist end waist um, I can save the drops into a list to be used later on but because I'm gonna optimize two elevations at the same time I'll just leave the drop list alone for now okay once you are uh, once you're set you can set each individual um, part up for its own optimization <clears throat> in this case um, I'll do all materials at 24 foot stock length. We can also uh, set this up to find the best stock length to use for our optimization. For example, if you had a special system or custom system and you were going to order the stock lengths ahead of time, uh, it might tell you that to get 98% yield, you'd have to order 28 foot stock length. Um, and it'll give you that. It'll, you can do comparative analysis against two different, um, the 24 and the uh, range of lengths. Do a couple different sizes if you want, uh, very specific. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to do a 24 foot stock length. We're going to apply this to all materials. So now instead of selecting each individual component and optimizing, we're going to select the same optimization for all of them. We just hit apply to all materials, and now you'll see the lengths go in here at 24 feet. <clears throat> Once you're done with that, all you have to do is hit optimize. It'll tell you here what your yields are going to be, for example. On the open back members, it's 64% yield, which is kind of bad. Um, means you're going to have some drops left over. Um, but, you know, if you're running with a 24 foot stock length, that's what you get no matter what. So, we'll just go ahead and accept that optimization level. We can set up our colors of our bar diagrams here um, and what it's actually going to put out for us. And we can also choose to save the drops into a new list to be used in a further optimization down the line. I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Hit OK. It's going to run through. Now 
and that's going to spit out our reports in PDF format so these can be saved now into a project folder or you can just go ahead and simply print them. Um, we also have the label set up over here which is nice. I'll just going to show you the bars now how these kind of come out. Um, so basically now we're looking at a back member. Here's our part number over here 1-001. We need one of these um, layouts here. So we're going to cut a single bar this way. The next one we're going to cut three of these layouts. So we can stack three, um, three of these back members if we wanted to and cut them all at once. Layout three, there's one. Four, there's one. Five, there's one. Layout six, there's two. Layout one, layout six. There's six, in the, six of this uh, back member here. So we can stack a couple if we wanted to. Tells you how many bars you need. And that's basically the report that you'd have go right out to the saw. Your pressure plates. And that's basically uh, what that report will give you. Okay, so that's that report. Um, again, this is the labeling report. Uh, we can configure those for whatever kind of labels that we're using or label machine that we're using. We've got a general cut list report. Then we have a material summary, which kind of gives you, you know, the part number, how many stock lengths you need for the job, and what the description is. And that's our short to long optimization. Um, now, the last thing I'll show you with Extreme Cut is we have also the ability to um, let's just go to new. We'll, we'll create a new one. We also have the ability to input import a cut list. Um, pretty much any CSV file that you might have or something from Excel that you might have um, you could go ahead and just import directly into the optimizer and do the same thing. So if we were to grab Let's just see what kind of CSVs I have here. Say this CSV and hit open. Um, we'll just do a new mapping. Hit next. We'll ignore the first record because I know the first record is my column headings. And now it's these are all the columns that are in my CSV file. And all I have to do is map them to the correct fields with an optimizer. So job is job. Elevation is elevation. Number is part number. Description is part description. Length is part length. And quantity is a quantity field. A lot of times when people do lists, they quantify their lists and they say they need 20 of these, 30 of these, whatever. Um, we can just, we automatically pick that number up and multiply the amount of parts needed for that. Well, I hit next here and I'll see it says create individual parts per quantity. Okay. We can check that or leave it unchecked. Um, if you leave it unchecked, it'll just quantify the list down here. Um, there's a quantity column that shows the quantity of each one. I'm just going to leave that so it shows the quantity here, but it will optimize each individual bar, as you'll see. And you can save the mapping. So if it's a typical cut list that you use, you can just save it and use it anytime you want. See now, I've got my quantities here. I've got my parts. I've just got a cover and a pressure plate in this particular list. It's just kind of a sample. We'll do that short to long again, and then hit optimize. It's going to tell us our yields. Hit accept. Hit OK. And now you see when this report comes out, um, we have uh, more of a quantity based on how you would cut. So this would be for like a bigger job. We've got a cover here. Um, there's 29 of these layouts that we have to create. So we could stack literally however many covers we wanted here. And cut it as many times as we needed to. We call this um, we call this a uh, stacked optimization. So you can stack 10, 15 covers at the same time, depending on your saw capabilities, and cut you know the minimum amount of uh, layouts with it. You don't have to load each one. Each one has a different quantity based on what it is as a cover. It tells you your drops. Real nice, real simple. It's kind of cut and dry. Um, Gives you some nice capabilities, some nice reports to send out to your saw.
especially if you're doing manual stuff. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Extreme Cut Optimizer. We've got a lot more coming. Uh, currently, this is where we are, and this is what you can do with it. Um, so hope you enjoyed the little demonstration here and pick something up from it. Thank you very much.